there, people of the internet. It is Saturday morning, 11.20, and uh, we've had a fairly productive morning so far, haven't we, kiddos? Ari got dressed, Rev wants to have a pajama day, or a pajama day, and now they're playing with felt boards. Swim. Is that shark swimming? Swim. No, it's a dolphin. Oh, the dolphin swimming? Swim. Oh, okay. But uh, they both helped out and did some chores today. Ari came down and fed the dogs. Rev and Ari were both helping me take care of some laundry. Um, and now, Ariana just took Grayson on a walk. And so we're just hanging out. I'm gonna make some breakfast. It's gonna be some good oatmeal. So you can't ever go wrong with oatmeal. Let's be honest. So a while later, we had breakfast, oatmeal was delicious. I've been working on making some chili, which we had just basic, like uncooked kidney beans. So first we had to soak those overnight and cook those, and now we're finally to the point that we can make the chili. So that's going. This is the life of buying fully non-processed stuff. You gotta make all your beans and, you know, take more time. And once we're full-blown homesteaders, we're gonna be growing the beans. Can you do that here? Um, I don't know, we'll see. I hope so. Um, I feel like and then it takes forever to get the beans out. Yeah. Oh, um, there's some tomatoes growing. So you gotta get down to see the tomatoes. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much done. The tomatoes like took back over. I cut this completely back. Hey, see, we have up here. There's some tomatoes right here. <gasps> Whoa. And then back. Do you see back there, there's a few um, growing in back Is there. Too much water? I, I think that's probably what so the problem note was. Note to self, next year, plant these at the top, because it drains this way. Yeah. So I think these just, they cannot handle a lot a of water. A whole lot of water, yeah. Still a little yeah, bit ready. Yeah, not quite oh, ready. Tomorrow, maybe? Got another one yeah, starting right there, too. Oh, like yeah. yeah, asparagus, huh? Thank you, Thank you Ari. Next year, going into the fall, we, we still gotta uh, take a look and see what we can grow during like the fall or late summer here. Mm -hmm. um, so we can start planting that out and getting stuff planted or getting ready to plant those. Um, but, but the plan yeah. for next year and possibly this fall is to basically build out a, a long very long um, box. Yep, garden bin, garden bin, garden box, raised garden bed. Uh, basically from that post back there all the way over to this post. Next summer, our watermelons will go in this bed. We watched a video of a gardener that had watermelons in like a long box about 18 inches, and that seemed to work really well. So we'll do watermelons there. We can obviously do something this fall in there too, because there's quite a lot you can actually grow here apparently in the fall. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna give it a shot, and then that one we'll reserve for more things like we'll probably still keep the tomato on that side. Yeah, and then for this. We'll have like carrots and yeah. Things like that. Something or other. And then we're gonna and build then another box. Another L box right here around this corner of the fence. You know, between over there and over here, we'll do like the square foot gardening. Yeah. Um, so we're really trying to maximize our usable garden space back here without completely taking over the yard. Um, so that's the goal. Still got some research to do to make sure that uh, we maximize oh, and, and do the best that we can. So we're gonna plant some flowers too back here to bring some more pollinators in. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have a little more success. Trial and error year this is. Yep, you looking at that? I'm a dashy. Oh, you're dashy? Is that the steering wheel for the ship? Yes. Oh, go away. Okay, sorry. But they're not for big people. Not for big people, I got it. The girls are down for a nap. Ren just woke up from her nap, but uh, we are now working on a bench. Um, basically, we're gonna make a bench for the kitchen table for the girls. 
Uh, it's gonna be a little bit higher than the chairs, normal chairs, but a little bit lower than their chairs. So, you know, make a Better good- Better for kids, but so much for adults. Exactly. <laughs> Making the plans, getting some measurements, got the wood here. Just kind of noting where we want stuff to be. That's what I really enjoy about doing these kinds of projects is not only is it fun to do, but it's practical things that we will actually use. Like the workbench and the gate that we're building at Tim and Tammy's that's kind of been on hold for a few weeks. Yeah, this is what we're working on. This is uh, what today's project is. Ariana's over here sanding. Yeah. Getting some sanding done. It's louder than I remember. Yeah. But, they're sleeping. This crank. She's been a crank, so she's on my back. She's been happy so far. We'll see how long it lasts. Well, Ryan has made a lot of progress. We uh, sanded. We together have but, made a lot of progress. Yes, I sanded. He got everything, he got a lot of it cut. I got some of, I, I only did the angle cuts with his help. He did all the measuring and stuff. <laughs> you good though. Um, but yeah, it, and that was mainly because he was carrying Ren on his back and she was sleeping, so we didn't want to wake her. So I just did those. But we're getting all this stain and we're gonna seal it so it'll be like a, a bit shiny and it'll be a little bit darker too once it's stained, but, or once it's sealed. We talked about how the plan is to switch over hardware in our house to black eventually. Um, so we're just gonna get stuff ready for like, to accent that kinda and help uh, bring that out a little bit more. Um, so the front hall where we're building that gate that you guys saw a little bit of um, when Ryan was building it with my mom at her at my parents' house, um, that's this, this same stain color. So it'll bring it from over there into the kitchen too, and then once we get the black hardware, it'll just kind of all pull it together. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. We're getting ready to have lunch here, and it has been a labor of love from this lady. Say hi, dear. Um, we're going to have stir fry, and here is a selection of some of the choices you're going to have, not you guys, we're going to have, um, for adding to our stir fry. And then everybody's going to add their own protein. So whether it's whatever protein you want, those are uh, those are veggie, vegan, vegan, chicken strips. But they're not actually chicken yeah. strips. So they, they call them chicken strips, but they're not chicken strips. They're, yeah. they're vegan, so. We have chicken. Um, but we're gonna all be putting together our own stir fry oh, yeah. and doing it. And then these girls are out here. Can you guys say hi? Out here playing in the garage. They got their puzzles they've been working on. Looks like Aries uh, checking out the cash register. Rev's filling up her basket full of purple and green supplies what's your favorite color purple and, green. purple and green what's your favorite color airy pink and purple pink and purple so so they're out here playing while we're all getting ready and then uh yesterday uh tim down there playing with the little one tim and i put together a new grill that uh that we bought so i'll just show you this through the the glass we're gonna be firing that puppy up and some amazing cooking some stir fry. It was, the doors and they it, the doors it was very good because we barely had any leftover parts. So it, uh, barely. Barely any. Okay. We got mushrooms, carrots, snow peas, broccoli. This is bok choy, garlic, red cabbage, ginger, scallions. Those are little um, Brussels, sprouts. Brussels sprouts, but I have whole ones if you want other ones. The baby corn, water chestnut, celery, bean sprouts, green beans, and then those. So you'll have to. And then we got garlic salt, salt. You can put pepper. Chummy salt. noodles. These, those are toppings chopped at the end. Peanuts. Yeah, you got it on the top. Shelled oh, and chopped by your And food. sesame seeds. So mm -hmm. Whatever you want to put in yours. Put those in. Put everything you want nice. in the bowl. Oh, and we'll cook, throw them in a pan and cook your vegetables. And then you throw in your noodles with it. Mm -hmm. And throw in the sauce. Probably whatever here. meat you have. We got the proteins over here. Okay. So once your vegetables are cooked, the proteins are already cooked, so you can just throw them in and heat them up. Okay. And then there's rice over here. 
So once it's all done, if you want rice on the bottom, put rice in your bowl. So do we cook? And then pour everything on top. You're on my napping chair. Oh no! It's a few hours later. We're back home. The kids went to bed. Are they actually asleep? Well, maybe. They are. This is a new record. It definitely would be. <laughs> oh, wow, I was not pointing the camera at myself. But as soon as we got the girls to bed, we were like, okay, we gotta come and finish this bench. Look at this. Look at this. It is completely assembled. As you can see, it's the top is a little uneven there. We were um, short two screws. We're short, short two screws, so we gotta put in a screw from the bottom right there, which will flatten that side out. Um, a screw on this side on the bottom, flatten that out. There are only eight screws visible. Yep. So we did it so that the only screws that are visible are these ones on these four corners. We were able to hide all of the rest of them. But all of the other screws are hidden underneath. I'm really, I'm actually really proud of us for this because it turned out exactly how we pictured it and it looks so good in the black. Who's your baby? In the window. You see yourself? You are so cute. Yeah. I love you so much. This would be a Pinterest nailed it. You would. But we didn't get it from Pinterest. We looked at a bunch of pictures and came up with the design concept ourselves. It turned out so good. The sign that we're learning stuff and getting more consistent. Uh, what's the word? Consistent? Persistent? Consistent. 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 Yeah. yeah. Getting everything to be more perfectly matched together. Um, all the lengths were consistent. Good teamwork, sweetheart. Yeah. We did good. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us too. And you, because you did so good while we were putting it together. You did. You were so nice. Yeah, you let mommy participate. Thank you for that. Well, Annie and I are sitting in bed, and I'm trying to edit, but she's having a tough time tonight. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys come back, because on Thursday's vlog, you're going to get to see Ari dance for the first time. She had her first ballet class, and she loved it. She's surprised both Ryan and I, so definitely make sure you guys come back on Thursday so you can see that footage. Uh, but we're going to say goodnight, right? You want to see the night, sleepy goose? She's so tired. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you are new and you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, make sure that you hit the follow button. And at the end of this video, it will show you how to turn on notifications. And we will see your wonderful faces on Thursday. Bye.